Hey, hey, everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Bonner with Healing Hands of Manahawken, and I am excited to share this with you today. Are you a performance athlete that wants to function at your best and um, who it, who is looking to go to the next level in your body's performance with not only strength and stamina, but especially endurance? Are you looking to improve your endurance? Well, if you are, I got some I got some good news for you. We totally get it here at Healing Hands. We take care of athletes all the time. In fact, I'm a mom. I live with an athlete. So I know what it takes. I know the dedication that it takes to get up early, early morning and get to your sport and perform at your very best. So not only does it take dedication, but also it also takes extremely good physical health, physical strength, physical stamina, and today we're going to talk about endurance. So um, endurance is important, not only for your performance, but also for your safety and to reduce injuries as well. So the demands when you're, when you are a performance athlete like this, whether you are, whether you do CrossFitter, whether you are an extreme surfer, whether you are football player getting pounded or not, or maybe doing the pounding, right? <laughs> For whichever side of the field you're on at that moment. Um, you know, your body, it's, it's more than just restoring strength and stamina um, to, to, to get you through this. It also requires precise biomechanical and structural balance. That's where we come in at Healing Hands. You know, Dr. Laura and I, um, and now Dr. Chris, who's joined our practice, who's now be becoming a spinal corrective doctor. Dr. Laura and I have studied spinal biomechanics for many, many years. And for me, it's been many decades, um, but we love it. And we love what spinal biomechanics um, and the restoration of structure and core strength and mechanical strength does for not only our day-to-day -day patients, but especially for our athletes. Your body is your most valuable asset when it comes to endurance. And we believe that it deserves the best possible care. And so one of the things that Dr. Laura and I do, especially Dr. Laura, because she loves this stuff, is we're always in the latest and greatest research. And so one of the, for those of you who like research that back up what we do, back up the claims that we make here in our practice, um, this, this, this video is going to be for you. This just came out. Um, this was, a. am going to read it off my phone here, but this is, this was published. This is a study that was peer reviewed and published in the, um, journal of clinical medicine. And what essentially I'm just going to, I'm just going to paraphrase this for you and make it really simple. But what this study showed was that there was a moderate to significant correlation between head, between neck and head posture and a person's gait and um, their gait and their, 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 their ability to jump high. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm simplifying this for you, but basically what this means is that there was a correlation between people who had head forward posture, by the way, head forward posture is the most common posture that we see in today's population, because we're, we're all on our phones, we're all looking down, we're working on computers all day long. And so this posture is a is a very common posture in today's day and age, right? So what this study showed was that when people have a posture like this, when people have a posture like, like that, what it does is it alters your gait, so what does that do for our runners out there, our track and field runners, our long distance runners, our marathon runners? If your gait is off, guys, are you running as efficiently as you can? Absolutely not. If your gait is off, guys, are you running at your maximum speed? Absolutely not. If your gait is off, guys, for those of you who are runners, are you performing at your best? Absolutely not, right? We can do better simply, but this, what this study actually shows, it backs, backs this up, is that we can do better. We can improve sports performance if we realign the posture and the structure of the body. The study also showed that when a person had good posture in the neck and shoulder area, they were actually able, they actually had a higher jump right? So when they had poor posture, they had less power in their body, they had less power in their legs, they didn't jump as high. When they had good posture, they were able to jump much higher. And they did this in a study over uh, in over 100 collegiate athletes. 
right? So this was a pretty it was, it was a pretty decent size study, not the biggest study we've ever seen, but it definitely gets the wheels rolling to say like, hey, we definitely need more research. We need more data. We need to do more studies on athletes, um, on on athletes and on, on collegiate athletes and professional athletes to see how the body and how the structure um, affects the performance, it affects your performance as an, as an athlete. We know that it does. We've, we've, we've been shown this. We have research that shows it. We, we, we actually just need more studies so that we can actually get to the, the, the cause of really why this is all happening.